Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is six o'clock in the morning. I have a 6.15 a.m. sign-in. I got to the employee lot like 15 minutes ago, but didn't put on any makeup at the house because I didn't sleep last night. So I figured I would do that really quickly before I head into the airport and to also let my tablet charge because it was like 2% away from being at 90. So we're good to go on that now. But we are starting a three day today. It's a two, two, three. I don't love three legs on the last day, but overall this trip really isn't that bad. Day one of the trip, we were on the 321neo, which is a newer version of the Airbus 321 aircraft. It's not my favorite, but we'll get into that a little bit later. First leg was from Charlotte to Phoenix. It was three hours, 55 minutes in route, and it was the only leg of our trip that had more than like, I don't know, 10, 15 seats open. So that was a nice little start to our morning. Had my little chicken salad on our deadhead to Vegas, which was our second leg. Got to watch the guys put the bags into planes. That was fun. If you follow my channel, you know that I love to fly over the mountains because I think it is just so pretty. So it's so nice to fly as passengers sometimes and be able to look out the window at God's beautiful creation. I just love it. We just got to the hotel. It is almost noon local time, which means it is three o'clock my time. I am very tired. I am starting to get a little bit of a headache, but I think we're going to go all go like meet down at the pool. So maybe I can take a little nap at the pool while also getting some sun. It's so nice outside. So yes, so let's change into our bathing suit, go get some sun, and then we'll see where this layover takes us today. You guys, this pimple is driving me nuts. It hurts and you like can't pop it. It's like, oh, drove me nuts. But I forgot to take a video of the pool, but it was super nice for like an hour. And then this cloud, like giant cloud came out of nowhere and now it's raining. So we came back in. I'm not really sure what the plan is. I think two of my crew members are gonna get tattoos, which I don't think I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get a tattoo. I have some ideas of some things that I might would do if I ever feel inclined to do it. But I don't know, I go back and forth. I'm like, if I want one or not. Um, I have two ideas, like for two, um, just for like my friends that passed away. But I don't know if we'll do it or not, we'll see. Um, but yeah, probably not gonna go get a tattoo with them. But I think what I'm gonna do is go heat up some food because I am a little hungry and then I might text them and just see like what their thoughts are because if they're not planning on doing anything till later then I might go to the gym. Um, I also need to do my devotions for the day so um, I also might just like sit and do those. We'll see but let's go find a microwave so I can heat up my food. For dinner, I had some vegetable lasagna that I packed. And then after that, I read my devotion until it was time to go meet the boys. When it had rained early in the day, it had poured. So the streets were just like filled with water and there were some not nice people in their cars that were trying to soak us. Luckily, we were able to dodge all those not so nice people. <laughs> but my crew member Sawyer ended up getting two tattoos on his ankle. He got one of a heart that his mom has and then an anchor and then here was Mitchell in the chair getting his tattoos. He ended up getting four, two on his knees that he said hurt so bad and then two under his arms. We were only there for about an hour and a half but by the time we walked back to the hotel, all the water was just gone from the street. You guys. <laughs> I was not originally planning on getting a tattoo because when my crew members were talking about it, they were looking up the list and the place that we went to they have like certain tattoos that you get that are certain prices um so they had like ten dollars and twenty dollars and those were the only ones that we were looking at originally and they were all just kind of like random things and i was like i'm not getting just a random tattoo like if i get tattoos i want them to have like meaning and for a while i've been wanting to get dice and the meaning behind that is i had a friend that passed away um almost three years ago um, from cancer, but we had this inside joke about this movie that was called Die, and it was literally just about dice, um, and that was just, like, our running joke that we had, and 
dice also symbolizes taking a chance because life is too short so I just felt like that was a good little like I don't know memorial I don't know what the right word is but like just for him and it just kind of keep me close to him so when I saw that they had that I was like oh my gosh I might like just take the plunge and do it and I love it originally I was gonna get it down like oops my thumbs in the way I was gonna get it down like on my wrist but the size was like set and I thought at first it was gonna be smaller um, not that it's like super big or anything, but it would take up most of my wrist and with work, you know, we can't have tattoos. So even with the blazer, it'd probably be visible every now and then. So I was like, I don't want to have to deal with covering up with makeup or like band-aids or whatever. So I'm just going to put it somewhere where I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Yay! What a layover picture. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like my Vegas labors lately have been just, like, very wild and out of character. But, also, that is what life is all about. It's just living it to the fullest. But, <clears throat> I am tired, especially since I didn't sleep last night. It is almost 7 o'clock local. Our van tomorrow is at 5, so I'll be getting up around 4. So, I'm going to shower and do a little bit of reading and then call it a night. Tomorrow is another pretty easy day. It's basically like the opposite of what we did today, except instead of ending up back in Charlotte, we'll end up in Philly. So yeah, tomorrow we go Vegas, back to Phoenix, and then Phoenix on to Philly. So yeah, but what an interesting, fun little lay of her but anyways <laughs> that is all for day one i will see you guys tomorrow for day number two good morning guys it is day two and it is time to go catch the van let's head to phoenix most airports look the same but the vegas airport is just so unique it looks like a shopping mall with slot machines it's kind of crazy but we went vegas to phoenix which was 44 minutes in route and this you guys is why i do not like being the four on the 321 neo do you see how close i have to sit to the passenger that sits here and then the seats just block the doors it just doesn't make any sense to me not my favorite aircraft after that, we went from Phoenix to Philly, which was 357 en route, and it was pretty full. We just got to the hotel. It is 520 local time. We are back on my time zone, so we love that. I am about to change clothes really quickly and then go meet my friend for dinner. And that will probably be it because our van is early again tomorrow. Not as early as this morning, but still pretty early so let's change clothes and then we're gonna go walk to the restaurant you guys i have been loving the fall weather that we have been getting on the east coast lately like it's been so nice outside so we sat outside for dinner this is my friend rachel she was actually my roommate in training so it was good to catch up with her we went to lucha cartel which is this cute little mexican restaurant and if these boxes on the street is not the most philly thing I don't even know, you guys, I can't. Anyways, after dinner, we went to Insomnia Cookie and got some ice cream and just talked for a little bit until it was time for me to lock myself back in the hotel room and get some rest. For those of you guys who are wondering, this is the lock that I use on my trips. I love it. It works on every single door that I've ever stayed in, so go get it. But then did my devotion and called it a night. Good morning. It is day three. I am like rush packing my lunchbox right now because I have like six minutes till then. Usually I'm already out of the room by now. So I'm like, mm, can't miss it. But we have three legs today starting one leg to Philly. Then we have like a three hour sit, which is a little annoying. And then go to Tampa and back. So long day, but it's go home day. So let's get it started. 
Our first leg to Charlotte was one hour, 11 minutes in route, and it was slam full. We had jump seaters and everything. There was just way too many people on that aircraft. Then we had a three hour sit and I needed to do some modules for work, so went down to the crew room to do that. R2 drew us nice little pictures on our carts. We love that. He was the best little two. Then we made our way to Tampa. That flight time was one hour. 14 minutes en route and that plane would have been slam full like our one from Philly but we had a few people that misconnected so our jump seaters were able to get seats. We were back on the normal 321. Do you guys see how much room I had in between my jump seat and the passenger seats? Like we love that. Anyways, flight back to Charlotte was 118. It was also full and look how crazy the Charlotte airport was. We love it. I can't remember if I told you guys this at the beginning of the trip, but this was my last trip of the month, at least for right now. I am looking at possibly picking up a Munich next week for Oktoberfest. I have the whole week off, but as of right now, nothing is dropping with that. So we'll see, but if this is my last trip of the month, it was a really good one to end on. It was so fun. My crew was amazing. We had a blast together. Like my next trip is probably gonna feel like so boring because we were just like all just like vibing together, just like cutting up and like having so much fun that whole trip. I'm sure the passengers were like, can y'all stop being a whole mess? Cause we were just all over the place. <laughs> but it is 6-11. We had to wait a really long time for the bus, which I thought that they had like worked that out but this is the first time i've had to um wait on the bus for the, in like a long time it's like really hot car right now my ear is not on um so there was another break-in in the employee lot so they're starting to add i don't know if you can see it over there but adding some kind of little like police thing because I guess that's the only way that this is gonna stop is if someone is like monitoring, but I don't know if that means like they're always gonna be here or if this is just like a random thing. I don't really know, but that's crazy. But they have a sign in front of our lots that it's like in, like airline, and like um, flight attendant and pilot, like it's our lot. And we're like, we need you to take that sign away because I feel like that's just like baiting people to come and break into these cars. But anyways. I'm ready to get home. I am tired. I'm going to the Carolina game tomorrow. We're playing Mississippi State and it's another night game. So that's gonna be so fun. Um, I am going to be recording that flight attendant lingo video this week. I promise you, I know it is long overdue. I had actually recorded it last week. And then when I went to go um, post it, I realized that I had misspoke about something. So I'm gonna re record it and it'll be posted next i promise you guys especially since i have the whole week off i have plenty of time to do it so i'm gonna be doing that but i think that is everything as always any questions comments whatever put them into the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video bye